Hi, I'm Stu from New Zealand Post and I'm going to show you how we use a Firefox plugin called Selenium IDE to do our functional regression testing. So the first thing we do is open up Selenium, um, having already downloaded it onto your Firefox, and then choose the site that you want to test. After that you just browse to your hard drive, open up either your individual test cases or a, a collection of test cases called a test suite and then once you've opened that it pops up onto the right hand side tool here. You have the option of either running them singularly using the button on the right or um, as a collection using the left hand one and we'll do this uh, collectively so all three of the test cases run concurrently and as you can see it's running through now. Um, there are a lot of JavaScript elements on our site and the t test can be configured to run quickly or slowly or to wait for various JavaScript elements to appear on the page. As you can see here um, it's emulating the um, action of a front-end user entering values, um, expanding and contracting boxes etc. In Selenium on the right hand side here you can see that the test's all going green which means that um, the test conditions that you've pre-built into the tests are being met and therefore um, it's passing the testing. Um, once it's finished you'll get your um, final total on the right hand side and you'll see how many tests have passed and how many have failed. In any given release that we do, we do roughly 350 of these automated tests across all of the moving and functional parts of our site. Um, it can save us up to around about two days of testing. We can get a full UAT done in around about three hours, whereas probably to get a human being to do all of these tests, you're looking at around about three days. I'll be back in future blogs to um, show you how to create some basic tests.